features of the closet assistant is the autopilot feature. The autopilot feature will allow you to schedule sharing your closet, sharing your closet to a posh party, and return activity from your newsfeed automatically. One of the most powerful additions within the autopilot is the ability to send offers automatically as users like items in your closet while the autopilot is running. Additionally, throughout the gold level subscription, captures are solved on the closet assistant. I'll show you how it works. Let's get started. Navigate to your Poshmark closet and make sure you're on your uh, Posh closet. All of the filters that are on the left side of your Poshmark closet are disabled for the autopilot. Open up the closet assistant, come up to the autopilot system. First up, you'll see the activity returner. The activity returner will return activity from your newsfeed. So as users like, follow, and share items in your closet, you can choose which activities to return automatically. Once you select the activity returner to on, you'll see likes, share, and follows uh, checkboxes. Turning the follow checkbox on will return follows. So if someone follows you, you'll return a follow back to that uh, user. Same thing with shares. If a user shares an item of yours, you'll return a share of an item in their closet. Now, likes checkbox, this is not that you're returning a like back to that user. If you select it, you'll see the drop down that as a user likes items in your closet, you can send them an automatic offer right then and there. So you'll turn it on and then you can set a discount of either 10, 20, or 30, or even a custom discount. You can enter the discount of your choice and the shipping discount. Right now I'm on a can uh, Canadian test account, so you'll see $9.99. In the US, it'd be $4.99 and free. So right now, it's all set up to return offers at a 10% discount. So while I'm running the autopilot system, if a user likes an item in my closet, it will automatically return an offer to the user at a 10% discount to entice them to buy the item right then and there. It's a great method to increase sales because you know that user is active and on the platform at that moment. Next up, I'll show you how to schedule tasks within the autopilot system. To schedule a task, simply give it a name, select the date of when you want the item to start, and the time of when you want it to start as well. So I like to share at a bunch of different intervals, and one thing to keep in mind is when are users most active on the platform. Just like any other social media platform, users wake up in the morning and then they probably most likely eat breakfast and then before work and that downtime might jump on the platform or social media. Same thing in the evening, get home from work, kind of winding down for the night and jumping on the platform. So I like to pick those times of day to share because you know users are more active on the platform versus in the middle of the workday besides like a lunch break or such. So first off, we'll start, we'll just show you how to create tasks. I'll create a 8 a.m. closet share name. I'll select tomorrow. I'll select 8 a.m. You can select random times too. Make sure that you're, you're selecting it to the right AM or PM there. If you're in the PM or in the AM, just make sure you're keep an eye on that. So we're setting this one for tomorrow, but I'm kind of like, and it's in the evening right now. So just showing you how to set up a daily kind of task schedule. So then you can repeat that or kind of use that on a daily basis. So ADM cl uh, closet chair is the name, the date, what time? 
I always do it a little bit after the hour, never right on the hour, just to kind of change it up and change it up on a consistent basis so you're not always sharing at the same time interval each day. Next up, you can share randomly, reverse, or share to a party. So you know at 8 a.m. there's no party underway, so we'll just do a normal share in reverse mode. You can repeat this task daily, so if you leave your Chrome browser open and you select repeat daily and run this, it will run every day at 8 a.m. and share your closet. So it's a kind of a set and a forget. It's a great feature. Next, we'll add that task. You can see all of the active tasks back on the autopilot tab. You'll see that there's another one in there I was messing with, so I'll clear that one out. So this one's for tomorrow, January 27th, 2021, and you'll see it's at 8.08 a.m. Status is pending, not to a party, and I did not select it to repeat on a daily basis. So I hit OK. It's scheduled in there. You can schedule another one, say for the 12 p.m. party, say you want to do a party share, you can hit 12 p.m. party share. We'll select the date tomorrow. We'll set it up at 12, make it a little bit like 12.02 p.m. It's p.m. And make sure it's to a party, share to a party, reverse, and we can add it. And you can go see the active tasks. Now we're just building them. And that's the way you, you'll build tasks to repeat through the day. So you got the 12, 12 p.m. party. And next share we can do, we can add a task at 2 o'clock. So we'll call it a 2 p.m. share. Tomorrow. Set 2. 203, just make random times. There's no party underway, and we can add that task. So now you can see it's just building, building them throughout the day. Go to the 3 p.m. party if you want to share to a 3 p.m. party. We can schedule a 3 party share tomorrow. 3 share to a party, add it to the list. And I'll just do that throughout. Um, you can do now the 10 p.m. party. Ten p.m. Ten oh one party share. And you can add it. So now we have some tasks already built for tomorrow. And right now I can add a task to start sharing the closet within a few minutes of, from the time that it is right now. One thing to note with a party, as you can't select filters to run this feature. So when you use the party and you schedule parties, I recommend sharing to every party. Any items that do not fit the theme of that party, they would just not share you'll see it will come up as item failed to share, and that's because it didn't fit the theme. So it, your closet will get out of order if you tend to share to parties in that manner. So that's just one thing to keep in mind, that your closet, if you're particular about keeping your closet in a certain order, that you might have to come back and check on it. Um, we're working on adding the filters feature to uh, the autopilot system. So here we go, we'll add a task right now. It's almost 9 p.m. So I'll call it a 9 p.m. closet share. Today is the 26th. I'll select the current time is 8.58. So in one minute, I'll set it up to share in reverse mode. I'll select add. 
and we'll wait a minute and you sh you'll see the closet assistant will begin automatically sharing your closet at the predetermined time that you select. Once you hit start, forgot to do that. So once you hit start, it will open a new posh tab as the time is met and you'll see it start waiting for new activities. Now that it's the time that I set for tonight to share, you'll see that it begins sharing the closet automatically. As the closet is sharing, if you're running the make an offer or activity returner automatic portion of the autopilot system, sharing will take priority over that feature. So if you have a, a sharing task scheduled for the 12 p.m. party and uh, people are following and sharing your closet or liking items, when it gets to 12 p.m. at whatever time you set the share it to the party, it will share to the party. And then once it's done sharing, it will catch back up of the tasks from the news feed and catch back up there. So it will return shares that occurred while it was doing the other activity. It will take priority. Always give priority to sharing your closet. Now that the closet has been shared, You'll see that it's waiting for new activities to arrive. So nothing will happen until the next time that you have scheduled something. So if I scheduled to share my closet in 30 minutes, it would share the closet in 30 minutes from now. But also in that downtime, if you receive likes, shares, or follows, the closet assistant will return shares, follows if you choose to, or the option to send offers automatically if someone likes your items in that downtime until the next task. So I'll come back to the autopilot system and I'll show you how to share to a party. Pretty close to the same as uh, the uh, regular sharing. Schedule a task around central time today, 9 p.m. party share. Today, we'll start that in a minute. Make sure it's to a party and add that. You can add that live. So right now, you can see that you just added another task to the autopilot system. And you'll see that it's waiting for new activities arrive. Once we get to that time, which was, I believe it was 9.03, it's 9.02 right now, you'll see that it will start beginning to share to the party. The 10 p.m. or 9 central party allows all items every evening. Recommend all users to always share to that party as uh, it allows all themes and categories of items. As you can see, the time is now 9.03, and that task to share to a party has automatically occurred. You can do this all day long and set up multiple different schedules of what you would like to do. Um, like I, uh, put on, I put a tutorial on the Closet Assistant web page under tutorials for the autopilot, just kind of a recommended schedule that I recommend sharing it first time in the morning, a little bit 
after of the sharing to the first party, a little bit after the first party, second party, a little bit after, you know, just alternating throughout the day and you'll watch it, watch it work. Um, a couple things to note, if your internet connection goes out during that process, you will have to restart the autopilot system if uh, you have an uh, interruption. But once the internet comes back on, the autopilot system will resume doing its activities as long as you have Chrome open and the internet uh, comes back. At any point that you want to stop the autopilot system, you can simply click stop and that window that was originally open will close. You can come down to the autopilot system, active task. You can delete any of these tasks that you had scheduled. They were deleting a bunch of tasks. And here, when a task has been completed, You'll see status complete, and it will have the date and the time of when it was complete. You can clear those out, and you can kind of get the hang of how it works. Again, you can schedule any task right from this uh, create a task window. And then if you would like to repeat that daily, so if you want to share your closet every morning, at 8 a.m., you would select the repeat, enter in the date of when you want it to start, and it will uh, continue on. As long as you leave that window open, that the once you click, uh, select start, the autopilot system will run. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at closetassistantpm.com. We also have a full written tutorial with photos step-by-step -step on Closet Assistant's tutorial page. So go check that out on the Closet Assistant tutorial page on the website if you want to see a uh, written out version with uh, photos step-by-step -step on how to use the autopilot system. Again, if you have any questions, just email us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.